Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up? It's actually a very sunny day because I am in LA with uh, two blondies. Hi. Hey, oh my God. So we got Carrie Hi. and Leah. And today, obviously, we're doing a thrifting video. You just haven't been having any? Sure. A picture. Oh, it seems like LA like vlogger. <laughs> LA vloggers. That okay. was kind of cute. Yeah. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so the normal thrift stores just haven't been popping lately. So we're in LA. We're gonna go to a couple different thrift stores, which actually I'm really excited because it shows the reality of like you don't always just find a bunch at one thrift store. We are at Jet Rag, which if you haven't seen Carrie and I's video when we did the like one dollar parking lot sale, that was an experience. <laughs> but we realized we never actually went into the actual store, so that's where we're gonna go first, and then after that, a bunch of other places, and yeah, we're reunited. <laughs> Oh gosh, I just remember like being like right over there and yeah. they're just being like underwear. I really hope there are people filming in there and we didn't really check, so. Oh yeah. We'll be the best. <laughs> Alas, friends, we couldn't film in there. And the prices were definitely more expensive. It's more of a like vintage store, which is obviously why then their like $1 sale is so big. But again, definitely not worth it in my opinion. Just go to a Goodwill outlet. But anyway, we are gonna head on over to our next thrifty location. They did have some good like jackets and sweaters, but probably like $100. So I forgot to film um, at the beginning, but we went to the Women's Council Thrift, I believe. That's what we're gonna go into right now, but we just got out because I forgot to say that we were going in there. Okay, so I'm not sure if we're allowed to film or not, but I'm just gonna film a little bit until they say I can't. We are in, and the prices seem kind of like, mm. I think something was like $25, which is crazy. It was like a sweater or something, so we'll see how well this goes. <laughs> it's just a shoulder pad. Very, yeah. Oh, wow, it's a bright orange. Oh my god. It's like bat wings. Wow. Okay, so I just found this like mm -hmm. jean jacket with fake fur. Really cute. Thanks. I think I think I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna try it on and see. That is so cool. Nice. Really awesome. Maybe even like a tee like this under it. Yeah. And then like tie the jacket up. We'll see. Okay, I don't know how long we were in there, but we were in there for quite a while. Pretty poppin'. I got so much, so much denim actually. It was definitely a surprise, and although some of the prices were kind of like, why? It was still pretty good. It was like the Yorba Linda savers, I would say, in like prices. But now I believe we are gonna go to Goodwill and hopefully have cheaper prices and just keep on thrifting. We are on to our third, third, yeah, third thrift store today. Whoop, whoop. You remember that? You loved that. It's a big Goodwill. Interesting. <laughs> That's the worst bathroom I've ever seen in my entire bathroom. I'm sorry. I just won't, I won't, I'll spare. Yeah. So I always like to check in the Halloween section because a lot of times I'll take like normal clothing and put it into the Halloween section so then if it can make a costume or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm in here right now. I found, as you just saw, a Disney shirt. Like my whole goal was to find more fall stuff. Not really finding that much, but that's okay. I'm still finding actually quite a lot. Not here yet, because I just got in here. Okay, see you soon. This. What in the world? Oh, look at this fanny pack. It's all bedazzled. Wowie. ASOS. Purple sequin dress. Huh. $20. How are oh, the sorry. jackets? That doesn't sound like your voice for a second. I thought it was a child. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> a child. This one's Calvin Klein, but it's really small. If this was like a smaller size. So cool. Home decor be popping. There's three of them. Wow. And then this, like, 
shelving thing? I don't know if it would fit in your car. <laughs> your car's big, but I not... didn't get this in anything. All right, friends, we are still in here. I don't know how long we've been in here for. Like 30 minutes? Yeah. It's quite big and it's a little bit unorganized, so it is like a lot on like a couple things um and i feel like i need to be very focused which is why i'm not really filming that much but prices wise doing pretty good i've seen a lot of name brands as well like guess it's the only name brand i can think of right now oh my god it's not good no all right so i desperately need to go through everything and figure out what i'm gonna get and what i'm not gonna get although real quick oh okay this is so cute it's a little cute thing adorable this is cute but i don't for nine dollars, I don't think I'm gonna wear it that often. And then I'm not sure about this one. It's like five dollars. I was thinking of possibly like cropping it and putting it in elastic and making it a shirt. I think I am gonna try that for like a thrift lift. Try out my sewing skills. As much as I want to get this, it's twelve dollars, and I have so much Disney stuff that I don't need it. And I'm already picking up so much that I'm gonna say no, although it's just so nice. So I realized after I was driving home from Carrie's that we never actually did like kind of an outro of the thrift with me, um, but basically I'm back home. Obviously definitely check out Carrie and Leah's video. I'll have it linked right down below. Now we're gonna talk about what I got and I'm gonna be real. I'm pretty sure I probably spent the most and got the most stuff because I went crazy. It was just, wow. As you guys saw, the first one didn't really work out. The second one was surprisingly good and then the third one that goodwill just like really broke me anyway we're just gonna get to the haul portion all the stuff i hadn't tried on in store the first thrift store did not have a try on dressing room thing and then the goodwill dressing room was horrific so there are a couple pieces that unfortunately don't fit me or don't fit me how i was wanting them to fit me so i will probably put them on my poshmark we have a lot to go through and i'm really excited at everything i did get i think they're all really cool pieces and I'm happy. I already washed everything because it was disgusting. I think I'm gonna, I don't even know. Oh, I thought that I thought it said that I paid $525, but it's 52. So I feel a little bit better about that. I'm not really gonna do like Goodwill first and then the council shop. I'm just going to like grab whatever is next to me. The first thing I got was this sweater. It's such a dad sweater. I am so excited about it. It's not itchy. It doesn't shed and it has just the coolest pattern on it. Like I'm just obsessed with it. I think this is such a cool sweater. It's a little bit oversized. This with just some high-waisted jeans. In the try-on portion, I got some overalls and I put them with the overalls. So cute. This is originally from Michael Gerald. It is in a large. I'm pretty sure I got this one at Goodwill and I think I paid $6.99. It's got maroon, it's got black, it's got gray. It's got all the great stuff in there. At the council shop, I got these overalls. Now these are Dickies overalls and originally when I saw them, I asked the store employee how much they were. She said that they were originally supposed to be in their Halloween section, which their Halloween section was very expensive. Like here's this jacket that I wanted so bad. Like it's a pretty awesome jacket and they're selling it for $80. I definitely understand that they could sell it for that, but it was just really expensive. And she said that they were supposed to sell these for $50. And she was like, oh heck no, no one's gonna pay that amount. They aren't worth that amount. So it's thanks to her that I didn't have to pay $50 for these. I'm pretty pretty sure they were eight dollars they aren't like cropped or anything i just feel like they fit really nice the only thing is these straps are just kind of like weird them with a sweater or a oversized like banty i think is so cute and i'm so excited to rock these thank you thrifting gods and i'm pretty sure i had found some dickies at plato's closet like a couple months ago for like twenty dollars i also got this at the council shop i'm pretty sure it was ten dollars which i think is i think is pretty good it just looks like this another jean jacket obviously but this one does have the like faux shirling in it and it's really nice it's definitely different than any of the denim jackets that i own it is in a medium but it's not like tight or cropped or anything and it's kind of a weird jean material when it comes to denim obviously if you are a real sunshine or you know denim is literally everything to me i cannot say no i actually got a lot of denim in this video but this was just such a gem that i couldn't help but get it it is originally from gap 1969 again medium and yeah also i just remembered there's this weird zipper right there to like open up the sleeve i didn't realize until i was doing the trial portion that it had but just 
well, added bonus to it, I guess. <laughs> Following those overalls, I have another pair of overalls. These ones were from Goodwill and they were maybe $5. It says like $4.99. They just look like these and they fit really nice. Doesn't say what size they are, but honestly, I feel like they are a medium. They're probably my most like kind of tight fitting overalls, but they're not tight fitting. They just aren't as loose as my other ones. And they're a really soft, denim material. I just really like them. I don't know what company they are from, but I think they're really cool. They got some big old pockets right there. I was just so surprised to find them, especially in that Goodwill. It was massive and I 100% did not go through the entire store because there was so much. And I think at that point, I just needed a second coffee because I hadn't had one since like 5.30 that morning. So I was kind of like low on energy. So I'm happy that this kind of like popped out at me. I can't help but thrift the things that I just love so much. It happens that I then just thrift a bunch of the same things. But to me, they are different. They are different. From Goodwill, I also got this skirt for $5.99. And alas, it does not fit. I am too scared to like try it all the way on. I was trying to do it for the trial portion and I just didn't want to tear it. I'm sure I could like DIY why at some point but it is just made so well and it's so beautiful that I really don't want to mess it up so unfortunately it does not fit me it's not fit over my thighs which is just grand and I just know it'll hopefully make somebody a lot happier so I got these shorts I'm pretty sure at Goodwill I honestly am not sure the price I feel like it was like six dollars I don't know they are just some shorts are like super dad shorts honestly when I put them on I was like oh my god I feel like I'm about to go on a safari I think this with a oversized like Harley tee or like sweater. I just feel like I really need to style this. I put it with this shirt and I was like, oh no, this does not, this does not go together. But I just thought they looked so interesting that I had to get them. They are originally from a company called Redhead and they are in a size 30. They do have the elastic on the back, which is pretty cool. And they have so many pockets, which as a girl, I'm just so used to like girl jeans, not even having real pockets that having, I think I have like six pockets in here is just wild to me. They do fit, which I'm so happy about because again, I didn't know if they were going to, but they do and they're really comfy. And if I'm ever going on a safari, I can wear them. This tank top is such a beautiful pistachio color. I'm just saying it to me it looks pistachio so we're gonna say it's pistachio it's originally from Zara and it is a knit and it says that it is a small the only thing is the strap kept falling when I was doing the try on portion but other than that I think this is so cute it's made with a really nice elastic and it is a little bit thicker than a traditional just like tank top crop top and then it has little like um ruffling type of thing at the bottom which I think is just a cute little touch this one was six dollars which I think is absolutely crazy for a Zara top like in the council shop they had this section that had more like luxury brands they had like Gucci, Fendi, like the really like type of thing. I feel like this one was in it and I just really like the color. I think it makes my ass pop a little bit. Even though it's not really a fall color, I think it could work again. Maybe put it with another darker pistachio green and I would be set. I got another sweater and this is a black sweater and the thing that drew me in was the material. It's so soft and it also does not shed and it's originally from H&M. feel like it was $7.00 possibly which i think is i mean it's pretty good for a sweater it just looks like this it's kind of it's not cropped but it really comes in at the bottom and the sleeves are really nice and i just really really like it the only thing is it's definitely distressed like there's little stitching kind of coming apart it's just it's been around it's had a long life and i am going to continue its life i only have one other just plain black sweater and i've had that one for probably over two years so I figured it was time for a new one even though this one's seen better days. At the council shop I got this skirt um for eight dollars. It is originally from something makers. I don't know what company this is. Anyway it looks like this which it's a very interesting skirt and I feel like Leah and Carrie were kind of judging me for it. They were like I don't know 
Oh, it's okay. But I think it's just so funky and cool. They were saying it probably would look better without this part because then it would just have the ruffles on the bottom. But there's something about it I kind of like. I could just seam rip it out, but I don't know. And then the back with like the pockets, I just feel like it's taking a normal skirt and just adding something a little bit different with it. It does also have belt loops, which is so great. So I can put a belt on it, even though it actually fits quite well. And then it has the zipper right there. And I just feel like it looks so cool i just realized it only has one back pocket like that's the pocket and then this it's just the color so i then got some jeans which getting jeans without trying them on maybe wasn't the best idea these ones are originally from top shop and they say that the waist size is a 28 which i'm usually like a 26 and then the length is a 30 which i thought was going to be fine but even though they're supposed to kind of roll up placement where they hit my leg it's too tight and then the waist is too big. It's just like all over the place. So these ones I don't think are gonna work out, which is unfortunate because I really like the denim style of them. I believe these ones were $8 and I'm really sad that they didn't work out because I was really excited, especially being like from Topshop and some Topshop mom jeans, but they just don't fit me that well. These jeans I got from Goodwill and I got them for $8 and they are originally from Urban Outfitters because they are BDG which they actually just say right in there the size is a 26 which i like i said i am usually a 26 in most brands and they are mom high rise jeans and they actually fit perfectly high rise like i really like the fit of it at the top my only complaint about them is they are quite ripped obviously two rips at the upper thighs just hit really weird and just kind of like make my skin bulge out even though they fit good everywhere it's just where they place that. Don't know how I feel about these. They do fit me better than the Forever 21 ripped jeans that I got from the Goodwill outlet a couple weeks ago. I feel, again, I need to style it up with some like Harley Davidson t-shirts kind of tucked in and all that and really need to kind of grunge up the look. I try to put them with boots in the try on portion to kind of make it look kind of cool. And there's just something about the placement of the first holes that just feels weird and looks weird to me. If they just had the knee holes, I would totally be like so good with that. I then got this long sleeve from the council shop. I believe it was $7 and it just says New York on it. And it's kind of like a thermal. It is originally from a company called Blue Marlin. And it does say that it's in a small, but it kind of fits more like a medium. And now my boyfriend and I are rewatching Friends. And there's just something about this that reminded me of Friends. Like I feel like at some point either Monica or Rachel wore something that said New York and it just like looks like this so maybe I just bought it for that but it actually fits really nice and I really like the material it's a long sleeve it's kind of like a navy and I'm really happy that I got it it's got little buttons at the top I just realized it would probably be at Brandy Melville for like $30 like I was just looking at it trying to remember obviously it reminds me of friends but I was like this just reminds me of a brand and I feel like yeah Brandy Melville would 100% be selling something if they're not already selling something like this right now <laughs> this next shirt is a wild one um I think in last Sunday's video I said something about liking animal shirts and I feel like this one kind of goes perfectly with that it was originally I think six dollars it is by the mountain and it is in a medium I kind of wish it was a large but does fit it is this blue tie-dye dolphin shirt I even realized that the clouds are dolphins which is so cool and it's got dolphins all around it and who doesn't like dolphins? Look at there's dolphins at the bottom, like just a good time. And the color is really nice. It's like a light blue. Again, it's an animal shirt and I couldn't say no to it. <laughs> this next piece is originally from Goodwill. I originally got it because I was like, I like the top of it, don't like the bottom. So it's this dress, it's like pale pink dress and there are some stains on it at the bottom and I already washed it too like I don't know if you can see that it's some weird stains looks like food or something I thought after washing it it would come out but I wasn't too like peeved about it because I'm actually going to cut it and make it a crop top just because I really like come on the top of it is so pretty so I'm pretty sure I got it for five dollars it's quite see-through so I don't know how I'm going to work with that maybe wear like a bralette under it or a crop top and little flowers are really pretty it's just the bottom that just uh, kind of nasty so this one is um a work in progress but I just felt like I had to get it because I like had that vision of how I saw it and I was like that's the whole point of having a sewing machine is I can take things and make them how I want to which is 
so awesome. <laughs> I always have a lot of fun when I go thrifting with other people just because it is great to see what they pick up, but also it's kind of bad because it's a little bit of peer pressure because you see something cute and they're like, oh, that's really cute. And in your head, you're like, but I don't know if I want to get it. But now they said it's cute. So now I definitely should get it. So it's kind of like a little bit difficult with self-control because we're all just like, thrifting, having a good time. We can literally go through the same kind of rack of clothes and Carrie will see something that I didn't even see and then Leo will see something and I will see something that neither of us even like noticed, which is really cool. And so I just always have a grand time. Thrifting in LA is always an experience. It's definitely a lot more expensive than kind of where I'm from, but I had a good time. And if you guys do like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me, make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. If you guys would like to keep up to date with me during the week, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Alex and Shane. 83 and I will see you guys on Wednesday with a brand new video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!